Welcome back to my studio. It's Sean Tubbs here. Uh, getting ready to uh, throw another pedal at you. This one is uh, the J Rocket Audio Designs Blue Note pedal. Here it is here. It's a very cool pedal. Um, it's uh, the way it, it sounds to me is it, it definitely has or is reminiscent of, of maybe a TS9 or TS808 uh, style circuit but it's it's definitely no clone in the way it's uh it's set up it's a four knob it's got volume gain tone and and a knob that's uh, actually called a fat knob which is really really cool it kind of allows you to uh dial the mid characteristics of the box and it and it also uh, kind of changes the way the box feels um you know all guitar players uh are uh, very sympathetic in their playing and that they react to however uh, whatever, whether it's uh, the guitar or the box or the amp, they're going to react to how that amp or guitar or, or pedal is feeling. And, uh, and this one allows you to kind of adjust the feel a little bit as well as the tone. Um, it's, it's really, really versatile. It also has a, a switch on it called a hot switch. And that uh, switch, when you engage it, actually adds a little more gain but it also adds much more of that uh, kind of fatter mid characteristic, a more present mid characteristic, which once again is so awesome. So you're able to choose between kind of a more flat setting uh, mid or uh, a slightly pronounced uh, mid and, and more gain. It's, it's, it's uh, capable of quite a bit more gain than your typical, you know, Ibanez box. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this pedal. I, th I think it's a great product. It's another just really well-built product. Uh, J-Rocket uh, Audio, they definitely don't mess around when it comes to their enclosures and uh, things just being rock solid. So yeah, without uh, further yammering on, here is the uh, J-Rocket Audio Designs Blue Note. Yay! So let's get started on this thing. Um, I'm gonna be using my uh, PRS McCarty 58 into my uh, much loved divided by 13 FTR 37. Um, let's just stick right into it. Here's the uh, the uh, just straight ahead amp sound. And here's the tone of the box. Uh, basically I just I left it uh, straight up without really uh, everything's at noon. I'll go ahead and turn that on. So there's what's it, what it's adding. box off. Here's the box on. So it's it's a great tone like right out of the chute. I really dig uh, you know speaking of just that whole kind of sympathetic thing uh, that I had mentioned when I in the first talking point. Uh, it just kind of this is one of those boxes it just kind of brings certain styles out of me you know it's just right away that's kind of what it drug out of me that's why i kind of did uh a more kind of funky uh, uh performance demo of uh of the box because that's kind of what it it uh inspired in me and, and by the way, that, that uh, uh, performance video, the song video, was all Blue Note, and all of it was done uh, through the FTR 37. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, right now I haven't uh, even touched uh, one of the coolest features on it, uh, amongst the many, is the, uh, the hot switch is actually great. So without changing any knobs, every, everybody's still pretty much straight up. Let me just throw the switch. So now you can hear right away what it added. It, it certainly adds gain, but it also adds that upper mid uh, bark or presence, which is really, really cool. That sounds great. It kind of brings out all that, you know. It's got that stringiness thing that I, I really dig in uh, in a drive tone. Um, 
not flubby, just feels really cool. So let me shut that switch off just real quick for reference. This is definitely not one of those typical uh, TS-808 boxes or, you know, uh, I guess TS-9 circuit. Uh, way, way more versatile than that. Um, let's go back, uh, let's go ahead and, and do the uh, hot switch uh, in the uh, disengage position. And I'll just start rolling gain up. Let's try that. Try it about right there. So that's pretty much the most gain in that position you're going to get out of the box. Now, of course, you can you can hit the front end of the uh, the amp harder, as I've always stated. You know, I could I could do that right now. The amp style fairly clean, but I really want the box to be forced to kind of do all the work. You know. So let me back the gain off just a little bit, and let's go ahead and and get into the uh, tone section for just a second. Seeing as how I haven't even mentioned it, jeez. <laughs> Let me just roll the uh, the tone all the way off. Put it back to noon. I'll go ahead and dime it. So you can hear that that's a really, really uh, wide sweep tone range. And that's the one thing I, I, I dig about boxes too is is sometimes it's like I, I want those guys to actually when it's rolled off I want it to be dark I don't want it to be bright and then crazy bright you know stuff like that drives me crazy and, and I really dig that, that this box is, is set up in such a way that it doesn't do that so if I just wanted a little bit more sting up there that's pretty cool But I'm having fun. Okay, let's mess around with the uh, the fat uh, knob. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tone back to. Uh, let's leave it at 12. So now I'll start rolling. Uh, let's let's roll the fat all the way off just to get an idea. Let's go, let's, let's put it at 12. Try that. So it, it certainly, as you roll it up, you can hear that it, it's, it's adding a little bit of gain and it's also adding uh, what I would consider uh, low mids. Roll it all the way off again, just so you can hear. And once again, you know, guitar players are sympathetic, so that forces me to play harder. If we set it back to 12 o'clock. gain there, 
So, you know, it, I kind of will play it differently. I'm, I'm definitely one of those players. It depends on what I'm playing through. I'll, I'll play differently for sure. And uh, you know what, let's, we'll go ahead and just dime it on the fat side, play the same riff. So that's a lot of low mid, uh, low mid just bark and, and certainly more gain. So once again, that is so uh, versatile. I mean, there's just so much you can do with this box. It's um, certainly something uh, they should be proud of. Okay, let me just do a couple sounds here with the, uh, the hot switch engaged. Uh, just so you can hear it, and I'll kind of do uh, similar uh, rolls with the tone section. Let's go ahead and turn up, uh, let's roll the fat up a little bit. That's a great sound. You know, it's once again, it's like that's kind of what I wanted to play uh, when I heard that. Um, I love it when a box kind of inspires me to do something different, drag something out of me. Um, that's kind of it, man. Um, I can uh, just real quick. Um, I'll roll the, the tone around a little bit. I kind of forgot about that. Sorry. I don't know, I just dig this box, man. I'm having fun with it. I should be explaining more. Uh, uh, one thing I didn't do was just neck position, so let me just leave it where it is. Uh, this is full neck, it's not split or anything. Um, <laughs> It's, it's great in the neck position too and we could we could run all those sounds too you know we could uh, you know back it off and go back to uh, you know the hot switch off that real quick uh, neck position split boxes man it 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 doesn't argue with anything at least as far as I can tell it's just great um, go out and get you one man that's a 
it's just a I think it's a just a really versatile piece to have in your just tone arsenal when you're in search of that tone that thing you're trying to drag into a session or, or something you're doing live and and uh, you can only bring one box this one I, I'm I gotta say I'm really really impressed with and and uh, and rocket pedal should certainly be a uh, uh, proud of this one. It's, it's it's really it's a good box really well set up So once again, um, man, if I missed something if you guys have a question uh, You know uh, leave me a post and I'll uh, I'll try to get to it if there was a question you had or something I didn't uh, uh, Cover in this uh, you know demonstration video. I'd, I'd love to try to help answer uh, questions Like I said, I, I should have done more. I, I kind of got carried away there playing but but man, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much, as always, for uh, for stopping by and uh, and checking out what I'm up to. So man, we'll uh, we'll see you in the next uh, installment. All right, you guys, take care.